Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 9th of July 1877, the world's first official lawn tennis tournament began at Wimbledon in London. The Wimbledon Championship was hosted by the All England Croquet and Lawn Tennis Club, which had only begun to set aside an area for lawn tennis two years earlier due to the declining interest in croquet. The first Wimbledon Championship was staged in order to raise money to repair the roller that was used to maintain the lawns at the club and only featured a gentleman's singles competition. 22 amateur competitors paid one guinea each to take part, and 10 days later, 27-year-old Spencer Gore won the final in front of a crowd of 200 spectators. This was after rain had stopped play for three entire days beforehand. As a prize, Gore received 12 guineas in cash and a sterling silver cup valued at 25 guineas, which had been donated by the sports magazine The Field. Under the rules of Wimbledon's challenge round, the defending champion could return the next year to defend his title in the final without playing through the knockout stages of the competition. Gore consequently returned to defend his title in 1878, but was defeated in straight sets by his opponent. He never played at Wimbledon again, declaring in 1890 that tennis would never rank among our great games because it was monotonous. Despite Gore's damning verdict of tennis, both Wimbledon and the sport have continued to grow. The championship's total prize fund now goes over £26.5 million. In contrast, the first Wimbledon tournament generated a profit of just £10, with which the club's roller was repaired. Thank you.